Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to enable your wireless network adapter on Windows 7. This will also work for Windows 8 and Windows 10 as well. Pretty similar process. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And you want to type in Device Manager. Best match should come underneath Control Panel and it should say Device Manager here. Left click on that one time to open up this device manager window. Now you want to expand the network adapter section right here. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it. Should be a network adapter listed in here. You want to right click on that and then left click on enable. So keep in mind all we're doing in this tutorial is enabling our network adapter. So you can see down in the bottom right corner we have network access. If you do not have access to any networks, it's not really what the issue in this tutorial is addressing. The issue is if your actual adapter is disabled. So there's other methods we can go through as well. So if you're still having problems with your network, we close out of here. I recommend going back to Star menu, type in CMD. Program should come back with CMD in here right click on it, left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to left click on yes. Okay, so now in this elevated command line window, you want to type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS, exactly how it appears on my screen. Then you want to hit enter. Should say successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space winsock space reset. Then you want to hit enter should say successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At so this point, I would recommend restarting your computer and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I do hope this tutorial was able to help you out and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.